Hello, welcome to my tutorial on how to access the BIOS from Windows 8. So the first thing we need to do is get to the Windows Charm menu. And to do that, you click the Windows key plus C. So from the Charm menu, next what you want to do is to go into the settings, which is at the bottom. And from settings, we need to go to change PC settings. Now right here, there are three options, and out of all of the three, we want to go to recovery. And again, we have three more options. We have refresh, remove, and advanced startup. And we want to go to advanced startup. So now I will be switching to a different camera because since BIOS, which stands for Basic Input Output System, controls the very basic things of your computer, I won't be able to use the screen recorder. Alright, so now from here, we are going to click Restart Now, and from Restart Now, we will get to a menu which will help us get to the BIOS. Alright, so now we have three options, and we want to go to Troubleshoot. And here we have three more options, and we want to go to advanced options. Now, out of all of these, the one that we want is UEFI firmware settings. Now, once we click restart, the computer will restart, and it will go directly to the BIOS. So here we are. This is what the BIOS looks like. And to control the BIOS, you will be using the arrow keys on your keyboard. So a reason that a lot of people want to get here is to enable virtualization technology. And to do that, we need to go to the advanced menu. And on the bottom here, we can see it. Intel virtualization technology. Now, I already have it enabled, but if you don't, this is where you would be able to enable it. And here we have a bunch of other options, and we have all the rest of the menu. So once you are done with the BIOS, what you can do is you can save your changes, or you can discard your changes. So I didn't really make any changes, so I'm just going to click the first one and get back to my computer. So. And now you can see the computer is going to restart as normal. So here we are, back to the Windows 8 start screen. So any changes that you've made are now enabled, and I really hope this video helped you in some way. If it did, please give it a thumbs up or comment down below, and I hope to make a Visual Basic programming tutorial series, so if you would like to see that, please subscribe. Thank you!